y'all. It is Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic weekend because mine went... <laughs> <laughs> when I woke up this morning, the five inches of snow, mine went... <laughs> um, like really... <sighs> Yesterday, I was in shorts and a tank top and sweating at 65 in here, you know, with my orchids. Um, of course, I still had my stove on a little bit to take the nip out of the air. So, it made it about 79 degrees in the orchid room. So, I was like really sweating. So, I was in my shorts and my tank top. I get up this morning before daylight and we got like five inches of snow on the ground. And I'm like, the they said we were supposed to get a dusting. I'm like, for real? <laughs> for real? Like, <laughs> uh, uh five inches of snow is not a dusting i don't know where the weatherman went to school at but i tell you he needs his license revoked <laughs> but anyway so i am not gonna lie i simply i waited for my husband to get home and i made him breakfast and we both went to bed <laughs> i was just like I am so over this morning with five inches of snow. Uh, my poor dogs drug their bellies in the snow going out to pee. And I'm like, so I just went back to bed. So I apologize that the walk around is late. But um, not a whole lot going on really from last weekend. Uh, I don't think. Just everything progressing as per usual. Um, I did... Uh, let me think. I'm trying to think, think here. <laughs> uh, of course, this pretty girl, she's still, she's still hanging in there, still looking really pretty good. Um, her pink is fading, but you know that's to be expected from when she opened. But the Schilleriana seedling behind there on the mount, I did add coconut husk to. And over there, if you can see her. I put it on the uh, Hokagossum Kimbalanium, Kimbal Kimbalium, something like that, <laughs> so I could see if that would help her as well. I told you there was some that I was going to do that I didn't do on uh, video uh, because it just it can be a little time consuming, especially like with the the Hokagossum. I had to like fit it in like behind it, underneath it, where the roots had attached. So it made it a little difficult. And I moved the, there she is. I moved the, what is that, the apple blossom. <laughs> I moved her and then it shifted and wound up going behind the Lelia purpurata. So, but the buds are coming up and going good, and uh, Monday will be the water day, so I should be able to pull it back out of there and fix it, which I'm going to move it around anyways, because she's going to be blooming soon, so we all want to see that, I'm sure. Uh, basically, over here, that's kind of all that's going on right now. Everybody just growing good, putting up growths, uh, looking good. So hang on, and we'll go to the table. Okay, I came out to do the Miltoniopsis and seen my ravens were here to eat this morning because of the snow. They were hungry. <clears throat> Everybody's kind of hungry, looking for something to eat. So, on to the Miltoniopsis. Um, the big Lillian Nakamoto, I swear, I think I should divide her. Let me know what y'all think. She's so big and she's not blooming. Uh, basically everybody's doing good here. The John Leathers has only still got that one bloom and I'm not real sure why. I don't know if it's early, late. Um, I need to repot her. <clears throat> the, the, uh, what is that? Mastavalia is doing good. Everything's still doing good there. The Vexillaria, that one back leaf is dying on the Vexillaria. Uh, 
the buds on the roselia i only got three but i'll take them <laughs> three buds is better than none but they're getting big and should be opening for long everybody else is doing good though okay. no change. i just went out and did the filming around the the miltoniopsis in the kitchen uh my crows my ravens i call them crows i guess they are ravens came to eat today they uh ain't everybody's out there eating there's no food to be found it's all covered up so i figured i'd i threw out some cat food for the for the ravens to eat but <clears throat> everybody here doing good the growth's getting bigger on green gecko the one on jumping jack over there doing great everything moving along the spike here on uh, that to always get them confused it's a mabilis yes is starting to make buds everybody's doing great uh the growth coming up really nice on the uh, adelaide meadows it's looking good everybody everybody doing their thing and whatnot the little kiki here is doing good what boss ladies yelling at me so yeah i mean everything looks good so hang on we'll go on Alrighty, and we're back <clears throat> sadly uh, a few of the blooms slowly are dropping off on uh golden elf but those back there have just kind of really opened so those ones might be around a little bit longer too so we'll have some blooms but oh you guys i'm telling you well and it still seems like it's um you know it's still kind of putting out blooms so i'm not sure this is the first bloom i had on this plant and it's been a spectacular one so <clears throat> excuse me but uh let's see there's another close-up look at the uh polka blossom over here i really hope that husk helps and to the spectabli still they haven't the buds have not popped out there yet <sighs> don't know what's going on if it's going to or not but still doing good and the bottom one too it's not nothing's popped out on it yet i'm thinking maybe i might add some husk to that it, it certainly can't hurt all right <clears throat> there's my alcohol i was looking for <laughs> over here on this side of the room and these guys starting to fade <laughs> starting to really look tatty I'm going to miss her till next year, but <clears throat> leave the alcohol. I mean, already she's got more. She's coming out. I'm going to, once she gets, once the blooms are over, she's getting an upgrade into a basket. She's going into a big basket, and she's just, I'm going to let her go. <laughs> so, I don't know. There's nothing else I can really think of that I could do with her. So, and trying not to step on this plant beneath me. Uh, tip of my lee here. Making that eye popping. And I can get around here. Roots coming out over here. But I also think, I think that is a eye popping there as well. So I might have two on her. So far the sheath ain't really doing anything, but <clears throat> possibly might not. Uh, Lily Marie still got a few blooms on her. These these ones are going over. That set back there done went over. But a uh, new Catlea here got this. She had these last week and I forgot about it to tell y'all. Um, let's spin it around here. I 
not making too much of a fuss. But she was sitting here, and I forgot to tell you all about it. But this is, um, I can't think of her name. This is Fire Dance Patricia Cluster Orange. So, and I don't know, I'll have to figure out where to put that back with that with that root mass. It's so hard to figure out what's root and what ain't. So we're gonna see some nice pretty blooms on her. Now, Jose Marti, uh, that grow's starting to do something now. It's starting to pop up and grow some more. So I'm pleased with that. King George, I'm gonna get her out of there, but um, you can see the buds did the same thing over here. They did, and they look, they look like a burnt pink. I don't know if it's really coming across so much on the camera, but in real life, they look burnt. So, with the new buds there, um, I have noticed there's a little bit, there's a, there's a little, a few markings on it, but not nothing like what those guys had. I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to move it somewhere and see what those blooms do once I move it. Because uh, something... That, I think that light is just too strong for this pink plant. So, I definitely want to see, you know, I don't want them to burn like that, if that happens to be the case, you know. So, <clears throat> let's move over here. Uh, what is going on? Okay. I showed you these guys last week. Look at how much they have... Ain't no missing them this week. And that one there has, it's got a double spike. Normally the spike just branches, which ah, I'm pretty sure it's completely double. But uh, that is a Volcano Trick. Got two spikes on it this year. Should do fantastic, I hope. I don't know, they're, the spikes get mighty tall and then they kind of do lean over, but they're really getting close to that light, so I don't know. Uh, I don't think anything else up there is doing anything. Uh, right here, and I don't know why uh, Yafon Oh My God is growing in towards the Barina when she's got the big, <laughs> the big grow star over here, but that's the way she's growing, and her. These are her new blooms, and that one's getting ready to open. Because I don't want to, I don't like bending it backwards like that. I need to figure out a way. I'm going to position her differently, I think. And my water. Um, so it helps a little bit now. Such a beautiful flower. It was really a cool bloom. And this one here, getting ready to... I mean, it's going to be open soon. Um, this is a, a, another Kiki on this... Um, what is this thing? I can't remember. So I almost, I almost have to bet you that that other... Well, the other spike thing has not done anything. If you can see it right there. It's not moved a whole lot. So... It's probably a Kiki, too, I would say. <laughs> but, um, what is that? That is, uh, cream de menthe. Phalaenopsis cream de menthe. Uh, Michael, look what I did. <laughs> the two little fowls got repotted. Yay! I did get that accomplished. <laughs> and down another one. What trouble? You're on camera and everybody hears you yelling at mommy. This, sadly, is definitely looking tatty. What, baby? Mommy's trying to do something. I know. What do you want? What do you want, baby girl? What? I know. What? <laughs> She's 
one something. I don't know. Um, but they're definitely, they're doing okay. I mean, they're, they're going to be going over soon. But this pretty girl has her spike right there, the juicy fruit. And the, the juicy fruit is so similar to the Miltonia, uh, Mill Miltonia uh, Sunset. You just wait and see. They're, they're gorgeous. Um, what baby? The Tasco Jasper got four blooms out and still more coming. And her spikes still popping up. They're doing great. Uh, the pink splash buds. What, honey? No. No, no chewing on mommy's plants. The, um, pink splash blooms are still coming out looking good. They might be in bloom by next week. The triple love is doing good. Those blooms back there open. I'll go around this way so you can see them. Hold on, guys. <laughs> if I can get them in frame this way. I tell you, there's just no room. <laughs> just no room to do nothing. Uh, you can see her right there. I'm going to, um, I'm going to put her in a uh, basket as well. She's getting an upgrade to a basket. All right. Now, the lower shelf, <laughs> along with trouble here, um, the Hoya still looking good. I'm being bumped and rubbed. As you can tell, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the foul, what honey? The Phalaenopsis. Um, see if I can get around here so you can see the blooms. Got blooms open on it. Three. She's going to cause trouble because I'm not paying attention. No, no. She wants to chew on my plants and I don't let her. Alright. <clears throat> Hang on y'all. I'll be right Hi, baby. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm back. It did no good. She's still just going to follow me. <laughs> She's just... I, I apologize. She's going to be a little pain in our butts for the moment. Um, up here, nothing else going on. Um, the spikes are still extending on the uh, northern snowflake. Down here. She's... Petite Patty Lucky is still looking really fantastic really gorgeous spike is really extending on Soga Vivian I'm trying to think if anything else is going on the growth here looking really good it's splitting open um, I seen Yoshi's beautiful uh, Digbiana he got I've got this little three pseudobulb uh, this was the newest growth this year that I got off of it. So, so neat how they got that white look to them. They got like a white, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. It's like a, a dusting on it that is like a protectant, I guess, to keep it from getting burnt or something. I think I've, I've read, uh, really interesting though, how it's got that pattern to it. Trying to figure out a way to see, you can see it better. So pretty interesting. He got a he got a great deal on a great big one. Um, really awesome. That was a great deal. Um, let me see what else is going on. Nothing really there. Let's drop down a notch. Not a whole lot going on here either. Um, this, there's a few of them I'm going to put to baskets. This big, uh, big one here in the corner. She's outgrown the biggest pot I have. So, it's probably going to go into a basket. But so far, I mean, everybody's doing good. Just nothing, nothing much going on on this particular shelf. Um, the 
violets all looking good. Still doing great. I need to repot these guys in the flat basket. Um, and Stardust is looking really great. <laughs> Somebody's ears popped up over the camera. <laughs> Sorry. I think that's it, y'all. We hang on and we will make the pit stop at the table and check stuff out over there. All right, I'm back with this one here. Um, I, I do. I'm doing it separately because this one's still. This plant's still kind of in quarantine, so. Um, I, but I did definitely want to share it in the walk around. I'm hoping the other two blooms bloom. I just did a, a really cool um, short video with this where it was in bud. And um, I'm hoping that these two buds open really soon and I'll have all four of them together. But this one, I had to brace it because it, it kind of bent. It was a little weak there and kind of bent. So I've got like a little stick on it. Hopefully it's going to be okay. But yeah, I wanted y'all to see this one. This one was supposed to be um, a uh, Albison's, uh, Ludomaniana Albison's. And um, it wound up being a semi-alba Ceruleans. So really, really pretty. Look at that lip just fantastic just pretty as can be so hang on and we'll check out the other with bloom all right and we are back now this girl is still in bloom it's beautiful dusty purple phalaenopsis no id now sadly uh odorion is not she's all gone her things are all gone now, she does sort of seem to be Focus Paula. <laughs> uh, having a, a little branch going on there. So maybe we might see some more out of her. But <clears throat> remember I told you those things were doing some things up there? Those weird, weird little nubbins. That is definitely definitely a kiki so Justin buddy if you still don't know what that is she's got something going on there now too so focus please sometimes these phones they just don't want to do right um Yes, I don't know what those two things now are happening, but we do have a kiki, a kiki baby. They still, this thing still looks weird as can be. I don't know what it's doing or what it's trying to do. Um, Yaflon Green Batman still got blooms, and her other spike popped up and got buds now. So I don't know. It is. Let's see if we can get it around here where I put Kiki paste on it. That bottom thing is doing a little bit more as well. I'm not real sure. It just looks like a fat little blob <laughs> sitting on the spike. So I'm not really sure. I think that's going to be a Kiki. I should maybe wipe some of the paste off, but I, you got to be careful if you do anything like that because you just, you can't really tell right now what's underneath of that. So, but something's definitely going on there. Nothing happened on that node. So, that node down there definitely got some swelling. This beautiful, beautiful girl is still in bloom. Thailand Black, still still looking fantastic this thing is so beautiful I tell ya only thing that would make that plant better is if it had fragrance but it is what it is so 
to hang on and let's uh so we'll zoom back out i'm gonna go over here oh the boss lady laid down finally <laughs> it's gonna be good um jonathan's dark joy uh got less blooms on her now she's probably about done um that kiki still hanging on I have seen no signs of roots yet. The Shilleriana, I don't know what that, I think that nubbin is still just a nubbin. I haven't checked it for a few days. It's done, doing something. See if I can zoom you guys in a little better. Hang on. So hard to do it one-handedly. That's a that's a lot zoom. <laughs> Big fingers hit buttons wrong. I don't know. It might be a kiki. What do you guys think? It's kind of a little bit of a blob there too. So that's I hadn't looked at it for a little while. I mean, she has uh back out this plant has good roots and everything I mean it might wind up just stabilizing the way that it is uh, but I mean you can see she's got good roots good growing tip and everything uh, that don't always mean anything especially when you get crown rot so uh, let's see I put uh, my new uh, Engracum right there, one of them, the Dittoria, Dittoria, Dittoria. I'm saying that right. Down here, we have I did so far, I put coconut husk on that, and so far, haven't really noticed any change in it as of yet. But it's not going to change overnight. <laughs> you know, uh, blooms are going over on Arizona, a few of them, but I still, I've got more to come. There's more, there's buds on it, so it's not completely done yet. The Telepagona flora is just five blooms open on it today. Just fantastic how this plant has done. Thank you, Milan. You probably don't watch my videos, but I'm going to thank him on Roger's Facebook. I'm going to post pictures. That's just an incredible transformation. This one still, it's hanging in there, but it doesn't seem to be improving as of yet. So, uh, this green dragon bloom getting bigger. Yay. Um, this little... Yes. Zoom in a little bit more. The buds on this one are starting to really form and look good. Come on now, focus. There it is. I hope. <laughs> Watch me drop it and then I'll really be like, ah. There we go. Yeah, so I think at least three blooms on that one. There's all kinds on the uh, buy collar that I got off of Yoshi. It's back here a little bit, but um, it had several blooms on it. And it's, it's doing good, looking fine. Blooms still hanging in there on Pink Diamond. Looking great. So, so beautiful. Just so pretty. Uh, more open on Mini Mark. Got more blooms for open now. My favorite, favorite girl. She's so pretty. I tell ya, I went crazy looking for that plant. And uh, then all of a sudden, everybody, they came out. Somebody must have got a flask of them or something or grew them out. Now everybody has them. <laughs> I went 
berserk looking for that plant. All right, next shelf down. I just posted this one uh, on Instagram and on uh, Facebook on Rogers Group. Beautiful, but again, some of these are not, they're not completely formed. Like they didn't, that's all the bigger that will open unless I rip that petal and open it. They're not completely, and I just ripped it off, that's nice. Uh, they're not completely separate, and I don't know why it's doing that. There's a few that have done that in the past. Now, for the most part, though, the most of them are pretty, you know, maybe a little wonky, but um, Milan actually commented on that. He's like, it does look like a daffodil, and I was like, you know, I didn't really think about that. It does. All right. Spike on the... Jonesianum. Jonesianum. Oh, Michael, why can't I say that word? I see little buds forming, but I don't know. Seems to be taking its pee picking time. <laughs> Seems to be just dragging on. That spike's been like that forever. Um, and I do believe that is it on that shelf. And the seedlings, um, I know Samuel asked me about that ping, but I did show him in the, um, other video of my unboxing that big, uh, ping Aphrodite blooming. And the seedlings, same old, same old. Still just hanging in there and doing their own thing. Everybody really got dry yesterday with it being um, like almost 80 degrees in here. So everybody is going to appreciate that drink uh, come tomorrow, Monday. I was going to say tomorrow, but I'm sure you probably hear the water running in the background. I'm still making water. Um, oh, I did forget. <clears throat> Once again, almost forgot her. Zoomy, zoomy. Where are you? There they are. The buds on the Aloha Dream Dust. Now, I don't think we can see the other ones still as of yet. They're they're right on the back side of that, so they know they're not they're not showing up out of there yet. But just so many things happening in. Uh, different things blooming. There is actually another another bloom on, uh, another bud on a lorry ton back there. That one went over as you can see. So I do believe that is everything y'all and uh, I really appreciate y'all stopping by and hanging out with me. Bye for now y'all till we meet again.